السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طلابي الأعزاء في المحاضرات السابقة من الشابتر السادس تحدثنا عن عدة مواضيع تحدثنا عن الريجستر وتحدثنا عن الكاونترز المواضيع التي تخص الريجستر تحدثنا عن ريجسترز ويذ بارل لود ثم تحدثنا عن الشيفت ريجسترز ومن ضمن الشيفت ريجستر تحدثنا ايضا عن اليونيفرسال شيفت ريجستر ويذ ذا فور كايند اوف ذا يونيفرسال شيفت ريجستر تحدثنا عن بارل ان بارل اوت بارل ان سيريال اوت ثم سيريال ان سيريال اوت سيريال ان بارل اوت هاي بالنسبة للمواضيع ريجستر ثم تحدثنا في المحاضرات السابقة ايضا عن انواع الكاونتر ومن الانواع الكاونتر تحدثنا عنها تحدثنا عن الاسينكرونوس كاونتر ولما نتكلم اسينكرونوس كاونتر نقصد هنا الريبل كاونتر اي ممكن نسميه ريبل كاونتر او سينكرونوس كاونتر ثم تطرقنا للبي سي دي ريبل كاونتر بي سي دي ريبل كاونترز مينز وي ار جوينج تو كاونت هير اسينكرونوس غير متزامن سو ذير از نو سينكرونوس كلوكينج ايتش فيل فلوب از جوينج تو جيت ذا كلوك فروم ا سيرتين اذر فيل فلوب نوت فروم ذا مين كلوك بولز ذا ليست سيجنيفيكانت Pit or the least significant fill of flop is going to get the main uh, clock there. The remaining it will be directed from other fill of flop, regardless is it binary or BCD. ثم تحدثنا عن السينكرونوس بينري كاونتر. تحدثنا عن الاب داون بينري كاونتر. وتحدثنا عن البينري كاونتر with parallel load also. لكن في هذه المحاضرة سوف نتناول سوف نتناول نوعان من الكاونترز أو ثلاث أنواع من الكاونترز ثلاث أنواع من الكاونترز سوف نتناول في هذه المحاضرة سوف نتطرق للكاونتر with unused states if you are talking about unused states means arbitrary So there is a predetermined states. You are going to design a counter. It's counting from certain states to reaching a certain states. Conditional, conditional jumping some states. Those jump states we call it unused. We call it unused states. Then we are going to talk about the ring counter and the Johnson counter. Ring counter and Johnson counter almost exactly the same. There is something different. We, of course, if we are talking about ring counter and Johnson counter, so we are talking about feeding back. <coughs> It's something like closing circuit. The input will be fed back from the most significant bit going back to the least significant bit. of the counter uh, with the Johnson or with the ring it's the same there is very small difference between the two we are going to see both of them so before we said we talk about uh, a counter that's we said the counter can be uh, be established from a shift register so if you have a shift register That shift register, we can use it to, to act as a counter. Suppose that we have in counters, we have in counters here, means you can make in states. Suppose you have four counters, four bit counters. So how many states do you have here? Four bit states. That's why in states. We are going to talk about it later. So 
This will be happened with a repeated sequence, with a repeated sequence. Regardless, here you are going to use some, some states will not be used, still with a repeated sequence. If you are going to generate a timing signal here, we are going to generate a timing signal, generate a timing signal here. That timing signal can control any digital system by using the encounter or designing encounters. So the counter, as I said also, it can be constructed by using a shift registers. As I said also again, the sequence of a counter either can be arbitrary sequence, means predetermined sequence, predetermined, you are going to predetermine it before. So some states will not be rich or what we call it don't care states, not use the states, unused states. With the binary counter, it's a sequence counter. Like say you're counting, you have a three bits counter, then you are designing a binary counter. So if you are designing up counter, so you are going to count. So let's say, so you are going, you, we said we ha, you have a three bits, you have a three bits here. You have a three bits counter. So what you are doing, to, you are going to do here, you are going to start from zero, 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 one, zero, zero, etc up to you reach the last one, 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 one. This is what we call binary counter. So in sequence, uh, then the last one we are going to talk non-binary counter, non-binary counter. The non-binary counter, which we call it it's under, I mean, the non-binary counter con consists of ring counter, ring counter and Johnson counter. Then we are going to talk about it in a while. Okay, the first one is the counter with a new states. Let us look at this state diagram. This is state diagram from the first impression of the first look you are going to look at it. You can see here, we have two unused states. We have state number three, which is one, one, zero, and the state number seven, one, one, one. It's unused states means this one, the circulation of this counter, counter from zero, zero, going to the next state, which is one, zero, zero, one, well, I'm sorry, one, zero, zero, from the state of one, zero, zero, you are going to a state zero, one, zero, from this state, zero one zero which is decimal two you are going to state decimal four which is one i'm sorry zero zero one from decimal two you didn't go to decimal three you didn't go to state three because the state three is unused states that's why you jumped from state two to state four then from state four, you are going to state five. From state five, you are going to state uh, six. But uh, from state six, <coughs> you are going back to the initial value of the initial state, which is zero, zero. So you didn't go to states one, 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 which is state seven. That's why it's what we call it unused state. There's some, <coughs> some, Terms use self correcting counter. The self correcting 
counter here how we can say that this counter is self-correcting okay we can distinguish this one is self-correcting by something how we call it depend and depend in the unused states suppose by an error or by uh, interferences here external internal interferences whatever suppose the counter or the counts went out from that sequence went to either one of those two states if you give a, a pulse, the moment suppose it's in this state, if you give it pulse, does it go back to the sequence? Regardless how many pulses you will give it, second pulse, third pulse, etc. If it goes back inside, or either if it went here, which and use the state, then you give it some pulses, so you will back to the sequence. If it regardless how many pulses you are giving you are going to give as long it will go back within the circle either from this one or this one in that moment i can call it self correcting self correcting counter but suppose it well it will be suppose okay from this state 110 it can reach it can go back to the uh, sequence but in the moment it it reached this point it jumped to this point by error by interferences as what we said then how long how many clock you are going to give it won't go back to the states to the sequence in that moment we call it non-self-correcting, not self-correcting, non-self-correcting counter. As long one of the two or the two cannot go back inside, the count cannot go back inside the sequence. This is the state diagram for this one as what we can see. From the state diagram we design <coughs> a logic diagram using JK flop from we can notice here the first look you can see here, this is synchronous counter, synchronous counter. Okay, this is the one we are talking about. This is the same, it's the same. So we started from zero, zero, going to one, zero, zero, from one, zero, zero, going to zero, one, zero, from here you are going to zero zero one state number four so from state zero you went to the next state which is state one one zero zero from state one base of course here from state one base here from state one you went to state number two to the next state which is number two zero one zero okay from here <coughs> state or the present state two which is zero one zero here zero one zero you are going to the following or to the next state which is one zero zero am i correct that's why from here state present state two goes to next state four okay of course we are talking about the present state you will start the initial value zero 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 up to reach one 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 you have to put all the states you don't have to jump any states here at the present i'm talking I'm not talking about the next, I'm talking about the present. That's why after 0, 1, 0, you have 1, 1, 0, which is a state 3. But the state 3, 
it goes where we are not sure forget the drawing here the drawing here because we know after we solve it we know that state number three after you give it a clock goes back to zero zero one then if it goes to state one 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 that's mean it goes to state zero 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 this is after we solve it that's why this one is self-correcting but at this solution that we are solving it from state number three goes to where we don't know that's why you have to put uh, the input for the fill flops you have to put it uh, x the same also with the uh, state number seven or the present state seven which is one 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 you have to put it also uh, x for the input of the fill flops if you put different value you are going to mix up with the whole system that's why in this one this one you have to put you have to put it x x okay well, from this state zero zero one so it goes to five four goes to five etc up to continue this is regarding the present state the present state going to the next state here but how am I going to compute uh, how am I going to find the fill flop inputs regarding the fill flop inputs here but here we are using JK fill flops so you are going to find the input for the most significant fill flop the most significant bit which is a the second significant which is fill flop B the least significant fill flop or least significant bit which is c how you are going to compute it here <clears throat> you have to start from a going to a so you have to start from this zero going to the next state this one so from this one you are going here from zero present state going to the next state zero regarding the characteristic table if do you remember the characteristic table zero go to zero present state going to next state qt is zero qt plus one is zero so the output i mean the jk fellow flop will be what zero x the same with the second one also from zero here from zero here from zero here going to zero you have to go to have also zero x but the third one here from zero here you are going to the second next state from zero to one present state to next state from zero to one based on the characteristic equation again it's one zero suppose you finish all a you finish all a present state a going to the next state a then you finish this jk a then well you will go to the next one here the next one here let's let me remove this one first i'm sorry no not this one let me remove this one okay we are talking about here we are going to start from b present state b going to the next state b so we are going to start from the first one which is zero here going to the next state zero here from the characteristic equation zero next state is zero so the input of the jk fill of flop is zero x the second one from zero present state going to the next state is one so this one goes here from present state to the next state if it's zero one 
from the characteristic equation again it is one x etc I continue okay let's take the third one only from one present state one going to the next state is zero from present state one to zero the output will be x1 dependent the characteristic equation after I finish <coughs> after I finish those things after I finish the B also after I finish the present state B going to the second state B compute from C to C from zero present state to the next state one base also on the characteristic equation the output will be one X up to you finish this point from there you are going to to <coughs> you are going to compute the characteristic equation the characteristic equation here for the J J A so it's a, f um, a kernel map eight uh, f three variables I'm sorry three variables kernel map A B C so the output zero zero etc etc so you are going to draw, to draw let's say I'll show you I'll just for a while you are going to draw kernel map you will start from A A B C so B C I'm going to compute for J A this is J A equal what I don't know yet forget here so I'm going to fill out this one so zero zero one x um, am I correct zero zero one x then the remaining is x x x x so what your output to here will be let me change the color here why I cannot change the color okay let's take this one no not this one I'm sorry just what happened go back to the yellow I'm going to change the color of this one to the blue let's say so you are going to take this one this one is what this is a this is B the one in the middle is C so this one this one is B and you continue with the KA then JB etc etc up to you get uh, these characteristic equations but this is not enough yet you need the next state why we need the next state because we need to compute for the value here we need to compute for the value here how you are going to compute it without knowing the next state the equation of the next state the equation of the next state you can get it either from uh, to, uh, to situation either you get the kernel map again for a a t plus one kernel map and bt plus one kernel map c t plus one kernel map or else you can get it from the equation 
the JK flip-flop equation QT plus one equal what? Do you still recall the? Do you still recall the? Our equation. Our equation here. Just but let me remove this one first. We don't need this one. Okay. So our equation is the. Of course, we are talking about next state a at plus one. We are going to compute here a t plus one plus one. You can compute it from where? You can compute it from here. Straight. Or you will use the formula of this one, which is it's the AQ, it's the A, <clears throat> the J A prime, K prime, K prime, A. So you have the J A, which is here. And you have the K prime, which is here. Then you will get the equation. I think this is, a, as of this moment, I think this is a clear as of this moment. By this way. I'm sorry. Okay, let us go to the ring counter now. As what I said before, the ring counter I'm sorry. <coughs> so the ring counter we can use a shift register as I said before. Or you can use of course, if you, are, you want ring counter for bit ring counters, means you need to get four bit shift register. Now, the way ring counter is working, one fill flop only, one fill flop only is being set, is moving, is active, and the other one is being cleared. Other fill flops, the any particular time they are cleared. So it's only one fill flop is moving, the other are being cleared, and we are going to see it. So it's shifted from one bit to the following, but so it will produce a sequence of timing signal. But the most significant bit, the most significant fill flops, the output of that fill flop goes back to the input of the least significant bit or the least significant fill flops. So here, in order to generate or to construct a ring counter, you can construct it using two ways. The first way of constructing the, the, the ring counters, so we are going to, as long as we are constructing ring counters, so we are constructing a timing signal. Suppose we want to construct a timing signal. This timing signal is 2 power to n. 2 power to n. We can use <coughs> two way of uh, designing this one. Either use a shift registers, a shift registers, as we are talking shift register means fill flops. Or you can use a counter with a decoder. Let's say with the shift register, as I said before here, we are talking about two power to n shift registers. So the same fill flop, the same size fill flop you need. So here, timing signal, suppose <coughs> n is two. So four timing signal here, four timing signal, you want to construct four timing signal. So the shift registers, the shift register, it has four bit shift register. 2 power to 2, which is 4. This is the first one. The second way of constructing the timing signal, you are going to use a binary counter, but this is less than this one. You are going to use a binary counter with a decoder. The binary counter, so size will be 2. Let's say, of course, we are talking about 2 power to 2, so here you have 
you need two bits binary counter. So the size of the binary counter two, which is two fill flops. With together with the output, I mean the output of the counter here will be fed to the uh, input of the decoder. The size of the decoder here, it's two to four. The input of the decoder is two, the output is four. We are going to see it later on. The example here, let's say <coughs> we are constructing 16 time signal here. The 16 time signal we are constructing here means uh, 2 power to n means n is 4 so you are going to use <coughs> either the shift register or um, a binary counter with a decoder if you are talking about the shift register so 2 power to n which, which n is 4 n is 4 means you need how many shift register here? 16 bit shift register. This 16 bit shift register will be connected or acting as a ring counter. So you need how many fill flop? 16 fill flops here. In order to construct a 16 timing signal. But okay, suppose I'm not going to use a shift register. I'm going to use a binary counter with a decoder you are talking about two power let's let me write it here this one two power to n or n it's four actually so the decoder here the decoder you need it here the output should be 16 means the input should be 4 so the input of the decoder 4 means the output of the counter is 4 so the input of the counter is what 4 bit binary counters am I correct so the 4 bit counter you are going to use here <coughs> connecting the output of that this counter to the input of this decoder. How many fill flops here you need for the counters? Four bit counters. So you need four fill flops only. What's about this decoder? Decoder we are not using fill flop by the way here. You are using an AND gates. So how many AND gates you are you are, you need here? You need 16 <coughs> AND gates. But each AND gate it has four inputs. That's it. This is what you need for this one. Let me erase this one. We will go to the second <coughs> to see the ring counter. I told you before, for the ring counter, you can use <coughs> either shift register or a counter with a decoder. Shift register here, 4 bit, we are talking about 4, four bit ring counters. So 4 fill flops you need here, if it's, you are talking about shift register, this is the shift register here. Look at the shift register or fill flops, if it's not shift register because the shift register is fill flop. Look at the fill flops here. You have 4 fill flops. This is the least significant bit because the shift right, it's so from shift right, it's feeding here means T0 is the least significant bit. Shifting from this point to T1, from T1 to T2, from T2 shifting to T3. The output of T3 is going back to the input of the least significant bit, which is T0. We are going to demonstrate some value later on. This is for using shift register or fill flops. Okay, for the four bit ring counter, we are going to design it using counter and decoders. So the size of the decoder here is four, the output is four, so the input of this decoder is two, so the counter should be two also. 
Here's the counter, two bit counters. The output of the counter is going to be as a controller, as an input for the decoder, resulting in four output. Suppose here, we are talking about counter here, so you start for the, of course we have two bits counter here, so you are going to count zero, zero, one, zero, then zero, one, then one, one. If it's zero, zero, if it's zero, zero, the least significant bit will appear. So the one will appear here is T zero. If it is, if it is one zero, one zero, the one will appear is T1. The one is active, I mean, T1. The remaining is inactive, etc. Up to you finish one one. When you're talking about one one here, one one here, so the output will be active is T3, which is the most significant bit. That's it for the ring counter. This is how you talk about or design a ring counter. Okay, let's us see a ring counter here. Of course, we are talking about four bits also for a ring counter. We are talking about four bits. <coughs> uh, forget the four here. Just try to concentrate in one. This is a four bit counter. This, the least significant bit, this is the most significant bit. What we said before, the most significant bit or the most significant fill of flop is connected back, back to the input of the least significant one. Am I correct? So you are going to shift to the right. That's why when you look at this one, always you are shifting right. Here, you started from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The last, the most significant bit the most significant bit is one. When you give a clock, this one, because it's connected back to the input of the least significant, so this one will appear here. Look at this one here, the line. So it appear at the <coughs> least significant bit at this point. Still, I'm um, what I'm saying. This one, the, as the output is connected back to the input here, but the shifting this way, the shifting. So this one shifted backward here. So when you give a clock here, when you give a clock here. This one, this one will be shifted here at the second bit as this one. Okay, from here, you give one clock. This one will be shifted one bit ahead to the left. Give it one clock again. This one will be shifted to the third bit here as this one. In this point, give it one clock one o'clock this one will be shifted to the most left which is the last fill flop here this is what i'm talking about ring fill flop just let's demonstrate and see this fill flop here which the most significant bit and which one is the least significant bit this is the input. Forget what I wrote here, first, second, third, fourth. But this is the input. As long as this is the input means to say this is the least significant one. And this is the output is being feeded back to the input of the least significant fill flops. So this is the most significant fill flops. We will give an example, we will give numbers here, so we can see what will happen. 
Suppose we start from initial value <coughs> zero 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 one, then we are shifting to the left, shifting to the left. Then this one will be shifted. This one will be shifted back here because actually this is the initial value. I mean the output is here is one. It's not. It's not in the input. It's at the output here. So the output is, of this one is zero. The output of this one is zero. The output of this one is zero. The output of this one is one. So the one is at the input of of the. I mean the input of the D flip flop of the least significant flip flops of the least significant bit. So we have one here. This is D. <clears throat> this is D. So this one, let me put it in red. No, no, I'm sorry, not this one. Okay, this one, the output is one here, which is one here. If you give a clock, the input of the D flip flop is one, so it will appear at the output. One, it will appear one. If it's zero, it will appear zero. That's why, <clears throat> Let us give it a clock. It become one. Become one. I'm sorry. It become one here. Then the remaining zero. Give it a second clock. This one will be shifted to the left, so it will appear here. And this will become zero. Here. Give it another clock. This will be shifted to the left, so this one will become zero, and this one will appear at this output, at the output of the third fill flop, yes. Give it another one, the same, up to reach the last point. This is <coughs> what we called the ring fill flops. So when you start here, we have the out the ring. It's four bits, of course. So the decoder, it's should be the output of the decoder four. So the input is two, two to four. So the counter is two, as I said before. When you start here, this is the least significant bit. This is the least significant uh, flip flop. This is the most significant one. We started exactly this way. We started one, which is the most. The remaining, the least, are zero. That's why here it's one. The remaining are zero. Which is this one. This one, this one, the one here, the most significant, connected back here. This one is connected back here. So if you give a clock, the first clock here, positive edge clock, the one here at the input will appear at the output of the first significant bit. That's why this become one and the remaining zero. So the output is one here. If you give a second clock, I'm talking about this second clock, this one will appear at the output of the second flip flop and the remaining is zero the second flip flop is one etc i continue up to you reach the last one as what i said but before we go to <coughs> johnson let me show uh Maltesen. this is a ring counter okay we have here Four fill flops. These, the, this is the least, the least, least significant bit or least significant fill flop, and these, the, this is the most significant fill flop because the input is being fitted here. Of course, it's fitted back from this point, going input here. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> something else you have to notice also the clock here 
the stream clock here. The stream clock here it's synchronous. So all clock are applied at the same moment and instantaneously. Another thing you have to look at it the preset, the preset, presetting it to one, it's complemented. The clear also, it's complemented. Means to say, to display the clear, to disable the clear, and to dis disable the preset. We have to put the out, the input of this one to one, so inside will be zero, so will be disabled. To disable the clear, so we have to put it one, inside it will be zero. Am I clear regarding <coughs> those things? Forget regarding the diode and this diode. This one forward, I mean, um, uh, I use it just not to make sh the circuit short. This is in order the uh, flow of current will be in this direction, will not go back here. The same with this one, I'm not going to feed back at the output. So the output will go feed back inside. So let us put it to one first. I'm going to put this one one. Then after that, I'm going to disconnect this one. We will see what the one will happen here. We are talking about ring counter. Okay, I'm going to give <coughs> first clock first. Here I'm going to give first clock. It didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. It, um, uh, it's not running. Okay, now it's running. I'm going to give first clock. I'm sorry, I give two clocks. Let me clear it first. Clear. So I clear it zero. It's one. Disable the clear. One clock. So it's one here. So this one I don't need it one <coughs> anymore because I need only one bit one. The remaining zero. Okay, I'll give a second clock. Sorry, I give two clock. That's why I jump here. I will give another clock here. If I'll give <coughs> the fourth clock, this one will appear backward at the input of the first one. I'm going to give it one here. Another clock again. The third, I'm sorry, two times I, I click. Third, uh, two times I click also. It seems to be I'm clicking fast. Anyway, I will try this one. Okay, the space. Much better. Chat. Ah, I'm sorry. We have two space here. Uh, let me clear it. Let me run it first again. Uh, let me it's clear, so let's bring it back. I'm going to stop. Okay, this one, <clears throat> this one, what I want to call it. Let's say the uh, space, I don't want the space. Let's say, let's put it A, capital A. Okay, capital A. Okay, I will put it one first. Let us, let us run it. <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> but I want this one. I'm sorry. I want this one to go. To go back here. Okay. So when I press space, this will push or either I can use the mouse here. Let us put space okay space I'm um, sorry let us run it first it's running now here it's running but it's space it didn't take the one okay took it remove the zero okay another click it's moving here second click it didn't work because it didn't okay it work third one fourth one, etc. I think the computer is okay. This is the way counter, ring counter, it's working. 
let's stop it so remember regarding the ring counter the output of the Q going back to the input the Q I'm not saying the Q prime because for the Johnson the output of the Q prime which is going back to the input but for the ring counter the output of the Q itself going back to the input of the D flip-flop of the least significant uh, flip-flops okay <clears throat> now let's go to Johnson counter Johnson counter uh, we can call it switch tail ring counter because it's actually it's a tail uh, Something like a ring, but it's a tail it when we are talking about a tail if you look at this uh, diagram the Of the the block diagram for the Johnson you can see the output of the most significant pit the complement of the output the Q prime connected back to the input this is that's why we call it switch tearing counter or we can call it Johnson counter it's not ring counters switch tail ring counter now here there is a circulation of the shift we can use a shift register or just fill flop as what you want but with the complement output as I said shifted back to the input <coughs> But for the uh, Johnson counter, it's double number the state of the ring counter here. Because for that one, let's say this one was, I'm sorry, this one, let's say was one, suppose write it, one, zero, zero, zero. Suppose this one for, I mean, not this one, for the previous one, for the ring counter. So this is connected back here. So this one will become one. Uh, let me put it in. Let me put it in black. So this one will be shifted where? Shifted back here. So this will become one, zero, zero, zero give a ring give another um, clock so this one will be shifted here and this one will be shifted back here so this is zero 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 this is about ring counter but let us apply this one not to the ring counter let's apply it to the Johnson counter we will see what will happen Regarding the Johnson counter, but I'm going to change it. Okay, just leave it. At one zero zero zero. So the output here, the output here, it's zero. So this one will become zero. The output here, because the output here is one, means this is zero. So it's zero. I'm sorry. Why I bought one? I'm sorry, I bought one, I forgot. <coughs> the output here, the because this is one, so this is zero. So this is zero, 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 zero. Am I correct? So this one again uh, let us remove this one also so this one zero so this one is one so this one connected back here so it will become one zero 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 again the output is zero means the complement is one so this one will be fed back again so this will be shifted here this is one here so one here zero zero so the zero here the output is one so these two bits which is one one here 
will be shifted to the right and this one will be at the most at the least significant bit here etc this is what we call the <coughs> ring counter but we have to notice something here uh, Johnson counter I'm sorry uh, for the Johnson counter here if you need a Johnson counter with k bit let's say n bits so how many decoding gates we need here? If you are talking about two bits, so you need double, means four <coughs> decoding gates. But how many timing signal you are going to produce from the two bits? You are going to produce also four timing signals, and we are going to see it later on. Here. I'm sorry, let us see something okay <clears throat> of course it's correct what I'm saying two bits here you have two bits here <clears throat> two bits here means you have how many decoder how many decoder you need here for uh, decoding gates the signal timing signal you are going to produce for timing signal but suppose this is four bits the four bits here how many uh, gates how many decoding gates you need 4 times 2, so you need 16. But you are going to produce here also 16 timing signal. But <coughs> uh, 16 timing signal. But how many gates you need here? 2 times 4, it's 8. Did I say 16? I'm sorry if I said 16. You need 8 gates only. 8 and gates eight, uh, only. We can see it in the following. How many um, sequence we are talking about here? We are talking about one to eight sequence. One to eight sequence here. How many flip flops we, have, we are having here? We are having <clears throat> four bits. The four bits flip flops, four bit flip flops means, means the state should be started from zero, 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 zero up to you reach one 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 but here <coughs> the gates we are drawing of course this is for we are drawing it for the gates outputs the outputs then gets for the decoder here when we remember before when we start the initial value this is the most significant bit this is the least significant bit when you started the initial value, we started the initial value at zero, 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 zero. This is the most significant bit. So this one connected back to the input, but the one connected back to the input is the complement of A. Means zero, it will become one here. Am I correct? Zero will become one here. So, the output for the decoder at this state, at this stage, is the A to E, from A to E, which is A prime, E prime, because zero, zero. So, A prime to E prime, as you can see it here. This is the input for the decoder. Okay. <clears throat> So, I'm sorry, A, B, C, E, A, B, C, E, ah, I'm sorry, this one is connected back here, the E is connected back to A, so 0 become 1 connected back here, because of course we are shifting to the left, but the output here, so A is the least, so we are shifting to the left from this point, we are shifting to the left this way. The output of this one sh connected to <coughs> here. Okay, at this state, we have zero, 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 one. This one is connected back what? Backward here. So the zero will become one here. This one will be shifted to this point. That's why we have one, one. 
the remaining zero. Let us look at this one. So we are shifting from this one to this, from A to B. You are moving from A to B. That's why it's A, B prime. Okay, go to this point. This is zero. So it will become one feeding back one here. So this two will be shifted to the right. Shifted to the, I'm sorry, shifted to the right. So it will become one, one, and this one is zero. It become one, so this is the one here. Okay, the one shifted, you are, to, uh, you are talking about this point. So B shifted to C, so B, C prime. Okay, at this point, before shifting, let's us take, this will be shifted to the left, so this one C, E prime. From here to this one. From this point, going back to this point, so from E to A. So A, E, as what we can see it here. From this one, going here. A prime, B. Am I correct? This one, it's B to, I'm sorry, B prime to C, etc. From C prime to E. This is the way the Johnson fill flop is working. Let us look at the Johnson fill flops. Uh, as what I'm saying, every time you need to double. If you look at this one, this one connected backward here. This one is connected backward here. So zero, it will become one. Then this one will be shifted to the left. So it will become one, one. This one is connected backward here. So the one which is complement, the complement of one is zero. So will be connected, will be replacing the first bit, the least significant bit here. So it becomes zero, one, 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 as this one. This one connected backward here. So it will become zero, zero, one, one, as this one. <coughs> etc. up to you finish the Johnson one. But before we go to the homework, let me show you again the Johnson counter. The Johnson counter, we have four fill flops. Like as you can see, we have four fill flops here. This one, <coughs> the most significant shifted back to the left. To the um, to the right, but the shift of data will be from right going to left, from right going to left. Now, uh, look at the preset. Complemented, the clear it's complemented. So I have to set this one to one. I have to connect it to one in order to disable the clear and to disable the preset. Look at the <clears throat> the clock, the clock here. It's synchronous also. Positive edge, not negative edge here at this point. Right now, if I'm going to <coughs> circulate this one, I'm going to run it. So initial value zero, 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 zero. So the output here, the, uh, the output at the queue here, it's zero. But the output here, it's one. So when I give a clock here, this one, of course it's one at the output. The one, it's at the end, but right now, right here there is one. Right here there is one. If I give a clock, if I give a clock, the first clock here, the one will appear at the output here. Okay, let's just start. Nothing happened. Okay, I'll give it one clock. It appears here. Still, this is zero. The output zero here. But the Q prime here is one, which is connected here. 
So this will be shifted here, this will become one, and this will be one also. Give it another clock. I, I give two clocks, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's your shifting to from right to left, from right to left. This will become one again if I'll give it one o'clock. Let's 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 me give it a space. Okay, it become one. As you can see here, it become one here. Let me give space. Okay, if it's one, 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 and the output here is zero. So the input here it will be zero. The input at this point here, it's zero. The input here is zero. So the zero will be display here when I give one clock. Look at this one. I, I'm sorry, it didn't. Why it didn't? Okay, I one clock. I'll give one clock, this will become zero. It didn't because it didn't hit. Okay, it hit now. I'll give one clock, it will give, it will become zero again, this one. Look at this here. It didn't hit. It becomes zero. I'll give it one clock again. Didn't hit. It didn't hit. It will become one zero. The one will rotate again here if I'll give it one clock. One, etc. This is for. Uh, this is for now. <coughs> but uh, before we finish. You have a first homework, you have to solve those questions uh, from chapter 6. Uh, the textbook is Morris Mann Digital Design as what we know before, but the fourth edition, not the fifth edition. Use the fourth edition to solve those questions. I'm going to see you in the second lecture in chapter uh, 7. Uh, this is uh, as of now, we will see you in chapter, this is the end of chapter 5, <coughs> chapter 6, lecture 5, then we will see you in chapter uh, 7.